Hey everyone, this is Anna, and thanks so much for visiting my channel. I have a Whippersnapper stamp haul to share with you. I did request some of my uh, more garden-themed summer-type stamps so I can get a head start on some of my summer projects, and so I thought I would share those stamps with you. These are my own designs that I draw, um, drew for Whippersnapper designs, and uh, so all the stamps that you're going to be seeing are my illustrations. And let me go ahead and get started. Uh, so first up is this jam label stamp and uh, we make a lot of jam in our house and usually I make strawberry um, or raspberry jam and so I thought this would be a cute little label to have on hand uh, for my um, upcoming canning projects and the little gifts that I like to give away to friends and neighbors and here's what that um, stamp looks like. I haven't used these yet so I don't have any samples to share with you but um, I thought I would share the stamps anyway. Uh, this one is called Daisy's Smile Upon You, and I love this particular image of these uh, four happy daisies in a little canning jar, and there's a little tiny um, tag there with a heart dangling on the uh, jar from a bow. So I think that one's real cute. And I'll again show you this particular stamp as well. It looks like that. So real cute. And I also have a stamp to give away for Easter, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the next stamp I have to share with you is this one. It's called Honey, Bear, and Bees. And that's this uh, image here. It's got this really cute little um, bear out in the forest surrounded by um, bumblebees, a little birdie looking on, and he is dipping in the honey pot. And here's that stamp. I thought that one would be fun to make um, just for some miscellaneous cards. This one is called Stand of Daisies. And it's this uh, really happy snail. He's got a bumblebee friend standing under this huge, big uh, daisy or cone flower. And, uh, this is one of my um, early uh, stamps for Whipper Snapper. I've been drawing for them for like... 15 years maybe a long, a long long time um this is one of my first designs so really love that one i also picked up kitty nap and there's this cute little gray and white kitty which could be colored any color um taking a nap on a kitchen chair with granny's quilt her slippers and a little pot of flowers. And there's that stamp. There's so much detail in the uh, red rubber stamps. I just love it. Super cute. Um, I also picked up um, this stamp. It's called Garden Bench. And this is one of my absolute favorites. So I can't wait to use this stamp. There's a, uh, let's see, some lavender or dried flowers hanging there on the uh, coat hook. There's, of course, a little denim shirt. There's a snail there by that pot of flowers. There's some chives, a cactus, um, a couple little flowers here, and, of course, a really nice watering can and bench, and not to mention those little started seeds there. So I'm just getting started um, getting seeds going for this year's garden, so I was definitely in a uh, gardening frame of mind here. I also picked up this one. It's called Window of Cacti. And all these little house plants enjoying some afternoon sun um, in addition to a chicken. <laughs> so there's an orchid there. There's a spider plant, a couple cactuses, a Christmas cactus, uh, maybe a jade plant of some sort, a uh, pilea maybe, I'm not sure. Just some sort of house plant. And of course, a little round orb cactus there. There's even flowers on the uh, window curtain. There's that stamp. I love this particular stamp. And then I also picked up this one. It's called Cactus Bench. And it's this um, little scene here, bench scene with all these different succulents and cactus and a kitty and some slip-on shoes. So you can see I was in a growing phase here. Um, the... Uh, Next one is called Rose of Cacti, and uh, it's just three different rows of 
uh, various different succulents. Some of them are in bloom, some of them are just prickly. <laughs> and here's that particular stamp. It's a really nice size. And then I also have uh, this one here. It's called Pinwheel Background. And this one is a three and a half by just over four and a half inch size. And it's one of the background images that I love to use. Oops, love to use where I just kind of stamp every, every uh, now and then. <clears throat> and that's what that stamp looks like. So I just love the detail. Love, love, love the detail. And then I also have a stamp to give away that's Easter themed. So I wanted to get this um, video posted and get some entries for this stamp. Um, here is the stamp here. It's called Easter Chick. And that's what the uh, image is. There's a chick at the bumblebee and a little ladybug on a flower. A daffodil and a couple little daisies on each side. And here's what that stamp looks like. So if you are interested in uh, winning this stamp, I'll draw one winner. I will draw a name on Sunday, um, the 21st of March, uh, sometime in the afternoon Pacific time. And all you have to do is leave a comment, be a subscriber, and please U.S. addresses only. I'm sorry, I'm only able to ship to U.S. addresses. Um, but just leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing, what you've been up to that's crafty. And uh, if you have any spring growing or summer growing plans. So anyway, that's uh, my share for you tonight. I hope everybody had a great week and is looking forward to the weekend. I know I am, TGIF, and uh, I guess that's it. So until we chat again, have a good night. Bye.